Hi there, my name is Millie and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Millie and I am a first year or freshman at Yale University, currently studying, I don't even know. Um, I'm very undecided. And I create a lot of college related content, lifestyle vlogs, travel vlogs, all of the above. So if you like stuff like that, definitely make sure to stick around and subscribe. Today, I am going to be covering everything that has to do with college app essays. I did see all of your comments on my previous college application video, which was my basically one-stop guide to everything college application related definitely go watch that if you haven't yet because that's like me building from literally ground zero up on everything that you need to know for college applications but if you've already watched that and you want some more specific help on college essays in specific because those are in my opinion the most important part of the college application process definitely watch this video and stick around but before we begin I know that you guys are probably wondering how do I get specific advice on my essays because Sometimes it's very hard to apply an abstract recommendation from someone on the internet, i.e. me, um, to your specific essay that you might have written. And sometimes you just need that extra eye on your specific essay to help you to bring it to the next level. So if you're looking for an essay editing service that is really affordable, but also will help you critique your specific essays, look no further because I cannot recommend more my friends at Curricular. Curricular is one of the most affordable college admissions consultancies out there with their services starting from only $40 per essay for getting instant feedback from Ivy League consultants. Curricular can also help you to design your application theme, which is so important because as I said in my previous video, you need a central theme to center your entire application around. They have helped students get into T20 universities for both EA and RD rounds. And for underclassmen, if you wanna get started early with working on college apps, they can also help freshmen, sophomores, and juniors start unique passion projects, write research publications, and apply for RA positions. So if you're looking for an affordable service with Ivy League consultants to edit your essays, make sure to check out Curricular and use my code MILLIE01 for a discount. Just to like preface, I know that writing essays can be the worst part of college applications. It's just so hard to come up with a good idea and to think of what to even say. And if you don't know where to start, this video is for you. Today in this video, I will be covering the common application essay, the why this school essay, and also supplemental essays that every college asks for, like essays about extracurriculars, etc. But before you even begin writing, there are a lot of important steps that you have to take to prepare to write. And the first one is sort of thinking about your intended major. Intended major really matters, not in the way that it determines what you're actually gonna be studying, because in a lot of cases, a lot of these colleges will allow you to switch your major Major and to change your major once you get there. Like Yale, don't make you declare a major until the end of sophomore year. So you have a long time to sort of explore and see what you're interested in. But when you're filling out the college application, it's pretty important to put down an intended major in my opinion, because it shows that you have an area of academic interest. If you don't know what your major is yet, don't worry. Just think about what your academic interests are right now. What is your biggest academic passion? What do you really like to learn about? What would you go out of your way to learn about? Because so many essays are about intellectual vitality, which is basically like how passionate you are about learning. So having an intended major kind of shows the colleges that you have a path for yourself that you're sort of planning out and hoping to pursue. And you can sort of subtly show that through your essays. You don't have to outwardly state, and this is why I wanna be this major, but it can definitely be in the back of your mind and you can subtly hint at it throughout your essays to show that you have this sort of basis for what you want to do at the college academically. Now let's talk about the Common App Essay. The supplemental essays are the essays that are specific to each school, but the Common App Essay is an essay you'll write for every school. Needless to say, it is very important. It is sort of, in my opinion, the centerpiece of your application. But if you're sort of stuck and you just don't know where to begin, I have just the exercise for you. Think about three words to describe yourself that are sort of like a label. For example, like dog owner, but don't say dog owner, obviously. These things should not be quantifiable by numbers or by like your extracurriculars. They shouldn't be things that you can highlight in other parts of your application. The Common App essay is so unique in that it is the only space on the application where you can sort of elaborate on the qualities that can't be measured by numbers or by the hours that you spent on it or by the level of achievement that you've gotten or by the grades that you've received from your school. The Common App essay is really just to show who you are in terms of character, in terms of personality. Um, it's the place to let your like 
sort of uniqueness and individuality shine so that the admissions officers can pick you out from the rest of the applicant pool and be like, oh, this person is special in this way. Your central words to describe yourself should not be something like researcher in STEM or star student because those things can be highlighted elsewhere in your application. Obviously, you can highlight that you're a researcher in your activity section. You can highlight that you're really good at um, being a student in your grade section. They also shouldn't be umbrella terms like kind or friendly because those things are just basic parameters for like everyone in society to sort of follow. It doesn't show anything that's very unique about you. Instead, find central words that are hyper specific to who you are. You can do this by asking your friends to tell you your defining features. Like for example, you could ask them like, what do you know me by? Like what is the one like action or thing about me that you literally know me by? What made you originally wanna be friends with me? Like what was the one thing that sort of drew you in? And then the other option to find these central words are to look at your life like a movie. I know that's so cliche, but I honestly love it because it makes writing college app essays so much more fun. Sort of pretend like you are the main character in your own little movie and from a third person audience viewer perspective, what would be the most compelling thing about your character. I specifically tried to convey through my Common App essay and all of my remaining essays because these core values can definitely be applied across all of the supplemental essays and they should be because that creates a central narrative that I was a community builder, a storyteller, and a cultural explorer. And once you've found these defining features of yourself that you want to highlight in your essay, try to find a specific event or series of events within your life that really demonstrate all of those things in combination. You can create a little journey map for yourself, showcasing your entire life, just like write out all of the like sort of turning moments, all of the moments that are really, really salient in your head and you just remember them very clearly. From that sort of pick and choose what moments really showcase the characteristics that you chose. An important caveat though is Definitely remember that this doesn't have to be a life-changing plot twist moment in your life. It can also be a very small moment, just as long as it reflects back to those three core values that you brainstormed and really demonstrates them. It shows it, doesn't tell it. It doesn't have to be some sort of dramatic event that is like life-changing or really sad or really crazy. Um, but it just has to show who you are. Just to extend the movie metaphor, this is like how some movies are like filled with plot twists and turbulent and crazy and so action filled, but then there are other movies that just cover like a little life, you know? And it's like very calm and peaceful and the plot is very, very straightforward, but both of them are equally valuable just in very different ways. And you can do the same thing with a Common App essay. So I will not be reading my Common App essay. Sorry guys, it's very personal and that's how a lot of common app essays are, but I will share um, some of my supplemental essays, so make sure you stick around to hear those. Those are low-key the hardest part of college applications because there are so many of them and you just have to keep writing. The more college applications that you wanna do, the more supplemental essays you have to write. I recommend taking those core values that you brainstormed about yourself and trying to assign them to various supplemental essay topics. So for example, one supplemental essay genre can show that you're a community builder. For example, for me, that was my extracurricular essay. Every single college application will have an essay or a short response that asks you to elaborate on one of your extracurricular activities. That is a very important essay to nail because what the colleges are looking for is not for you to actually elaborate on the extracurricular itself. What they're really asking for is for you to share the meaningfulness of this activity. So that means showing rather than telling what doing this activity meant to you specifically. What personal connection you had to this activity that makes it different from just any other member of the organization or the group that this extracurricular was. So instead of just restating what you did in the extracurricular or regurgitating the mission statement, which are things that you can do in the extracurricular section of the Common App, you should dedicate at least half of the essay, regardless of the word count, to how this has a personal connection to you. For example, here is an essay that I wrote for Princeton about my extracurricular activity. So the prompt was briefly elaborate on an activity, organization, work experience, or hobby that has been particularly meaningful to you. And it was 150 words. While working with the California API Legislative Caucus to pass the API equity budget, I was invited to represent Youth Against Hate at a budgeting conference hosted by State Senator Richard Pan and share my experiences of racial bullying. Although I love telling stories, I was terrified to share one so personal and painful. But my fellow YAH organizers reminded me that I wasn't just sharing my story, I was representing theirs as well. 
With their support, I spoke out to ensure that AAPI youth experiences of racial discrimination in schools were accounted for. When Governor Newsom signed the equity budget, $150 million went to California's AAPI community, including Youth Against Hate's request of $10 million for restorative justice programs in schools statewide. Openly sharing my experiences of racism is still challenging, but coalition members entrusting me with their stories motivate me to continue using mine to call for change. So I think my tactic with that essay specifically was shifting between telling the story of what I did in this extracurricular and going into sharing the meaningfulness. Like I used the first paragraph to sort of introduce the topic of the essay. Throughout the rest of the essay, I sort of narrated the specific events and what they meant to me. So it reflects some sort of innate quality about me, which is that I love storytelling and that I am willing to stand up for my community and represent them. Now on to the most headache-inducing supplemental essay of them all, the Why This School essay. I'm sure you all have heard of this one. This is basically the supplemental essay that asks you, why this school? Why do you want to apply to our school specifically? And you just have to sort of like cite specific things and it's so annoying to do school-specific research, etc. And I am here to tell you that that is unfortunately true. You cannot reuse this essay in my opinion at all, but what you can reuse and use as a framework. So I have a golden formula that you can follow, which is basically the elements of the school that you should research and include in your why this school essay to make sure that you're showing them you're doing your research, you know exactly why you wanna be there and they are your first choice. So the formula is find one student organization, one academic course or professor or area of academic interest and one fellowship or career related activity that you would take advantage of. Once you find those three things within each school, you can incorporate them into some sort of connected framework that tells a story with this essay. My biggest suggestion with this essay is to literally show them, don't tell again, but literally show them how you're going to fit into the campus. Make sure they can literally visualize you on campus as a student doing your day-to-day -day life there so they know, oh yeah, if I admit this student, I know exactly where they'll fit in. To help further illustrate what I mean by this, I'm going to read my Why Yale essay. The specific prompt was, what is it about Yale that has led you to apply? and the limit was 125 words. While participating in the Yale Young Global Scholars Program, I discovered Yale China Association's Public Resources Fellowship and can't wait to apply to serve the New Haven AAPI community by identifying culture and language barriers and building accessible, inclusive frameworks within the New Haven Public Library. I also stumbled across Chook Songs, Yale's AAPI-centered spoken word collective in a YYGS seminar. I spent the rest of the day binging their performances, imagining the topics surrounding AAPI identity that I'll write and perform about after joining. Finally, after working with David Geffen's School of Drama students to create unconventionally hilarious robo-comedy sketches with online chatbots, I realized that as a performer interested in exploring the philosophical boundaries of theater and a comical nerd, I belong at Yale. So as you can see, I framed all of the interests that I have in Yale specifically through the lens of an online program that I did called Yale Young Global Scholars, which was like an online program affiliated with Yale, taught by Yale grad students that I did over the summer. So the why this school essay is also a great way to bring in the demonstrated interest. So that's pretty much all of the essay specific advice that I have. But to end it off, I will just say that college essays are definitely the hardest part of college applications. So if you feel really lost right now or really confused with know where to really begin, don't worry. We have all been there and you're not alone. Take all of this advice and take any advice you get on college essays with a grain of salt because essays are so subjective. So when you finally hit that submit button and you turn in that application, try to remind yourself that it really matters less what the results are and more that you finish this process and that you definitely learn new things about yourself and grew as a person through it. So please be kind to yourself. Please care for yourself during this time. And regardless of what the results are, know that you're gonna be okay. You're gonna end up where you're meant to be. I hope that this video helped and thank you so much for watching until the very end. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye guys.